So one of my favorite books and favorite movies uh, is Lord of the Rings. And in that, my favorite character by far is Samwise Gamgee. And there is a scene that grabs my heart every time I see it, every time I read it. I wanted to share it with you, and then I wanted to talk about it. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo, the ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end, because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even the darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something, even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Frodo, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going because they were holding on to something. What are they holding on to, Sam? That there is some good in this world, and it's worth fighting for. That scene, I, I can see it in my mind's eye, and it always brings me to tears. Because we are all, at some point or another, in that dark story. But we all come through. So I wanted to talk about that after the intro. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. The part that really gets to me is that the folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. And they kept going because they were holding on to something, that there is some good in this world and it's worth fighting for. For me, that is my purpose. That is my quest. That there's some good in the world and it's worth fighting for. For my purpose, it's you know to make Cats in the Cradle just a song and not a story about anyone. I don't want you or anyone else to, to sacrifice what is important in their lives in this search for fame and for dollars and for whatever it is that we go on in our work. Work is important. Work should be an extension of our souls. Work should be something that we love. And yet so many of us, we leave all of those important things on, on the corporate altar, for lack of a better term. We let them go so that we can focus on providing, on being a good employee. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do that. That the dark times that we go through, they serve us. And that we are meant for greater things. We are meant to make a difference in the world. And it can be through your work. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's not that everybody should quit their jobs and get out of corporate America. No. You can find your purpose. You can find your meaning within that construct. But don't just chase the dollar. Don't just chase the promotion. Don't, don't just chase what society says that you should. Follow your soul. Follow your purpose. Follow your quest. Because there is good in this world and it's worth fighting for. And you can do that from wherever you are. 
So don't give in to the despair. And these times that we're in, let me tell you, there is lots of room for despair. But not for us. We have a quest. We're third power knights. We have a purpose that is greater than money or ego or any of that stuff. And the challenge that we face is that there are plenty of opportunities for us to turn back. For us to chase the more ephemeral, the easier, the dark side, right? The dark side is not more powerful. It's just easier and more seductive. That chasing the dollar. That's not what we're about. We're about something greater. And I know you're about something greater. And our lives, they are full of darkness and danger. <laughs> and there are times when we don't know how this could possibly end positively. Because you know, how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even the darkness must pass, and a new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. It truly will. Our future... If we hold close and hold tight to our purpose, hold tight to our souls, hold tightly to the things that make us positive human beings. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can dim that light. And I challenge you here today to find your light, find your purpose, find what will make tomorrow brighter. Find what you can contribute to the good in this world and know that it's worth fighting for. I believe in you. So let's make the world that truly brighter place. Let's make it so that everyone in this world can live their lives to the third power. Let's all tell our stories and know that they matter, that it matters to know that you're holding on to something greater, that there is some good in this world and it is worth fighting for, my friends. That is my message for you today. I love you. Keep fighting and know that good will prevail. I'm glad you enjoyed this podcast. Please let us know what impacted you in today's episode. You can join our Discord or Facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real Third Power Life. You can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links. And remember, hit that like, subscribe, and rate button for the Third Power Life podcast. Until next time.